Hello and welcome to Daily Prayer for Saturday the 27th of March. And this is the final uh, day of this uh, daily prayer that we're doing in this way as we're going into Holy Week from tomorrow. So let's be still and quiet as we come before our God in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Let's pray together. Blessed are you, creator of all things. The heavens adore you. May the whole earth worship you. May all nations obey you. May we serve you in love and peace. Amen. If you respond with the words in bold. Come into our hearts and fill them with love. Come, Lord, and rule. Come into our minds and fill them with your peace. Come, Lord, and rule. Come into our lives and fill them with light. Come, Lord, and rule. Come into our days and fill them with glory. Come, Lord, and rule. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let's look back on the previous 24 hours. What has been good for you? What do you need God's healing and presence and God's way forward for? Let's bring those things to mind now. I thank you, Lord, for the... Uh, funeral families that I've met and spoke to yesterday. I pray for them as they uh, as they prepare uh, and organize things for their loved ones' funerals. We pray you'd be with them in all that they are dealing with right now. We give you thanks, Father, for good news on the coronavirus front as cases continue to fall and, and numbers of deaths fall. Lord, we praise you for those who've developed the vaccine and have organised its rollout. We we pray that uh, that would continue not just in this country but around the world. And we do lift to you those countries, especially in Europe, that we're hearing about where the cases seem to be increasing. Lord, have mercy. Lord, bring your healing. Bring... Uh, that vaccine to bear. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray that the barriers that divide us may be broken down. Lord, have mercy, that we may live in unity, peace and concord. Lord, have mercy that we may come to mutual understanding and care. Lord, have mercy. Upon all who suffer from dissensions and quarrels, Christ, have mercy. Upon all who are torn apart by war and by violence, Christ, have mercy. Upon all who are divided in their loyalty and love, Christ, have mercy. That all who work for unity may be blessed, Lord, have mercy, that all who heal divisions may have hope. Lord, have mercy, that all who lead nations may seek peace. Lord, have mercy. Pray that you'd give us this day our daily bread. What is ahead of you today? Think of those things. What do you need God's help with? What are you worried about? Let's offer that to God now, trusting in his provision. Lord, we pray for all the 
preparations for Holy Week, for, for Palm Sunday tomorrow, for the uh, prayers that will take place every morning from the Methodist Church. Won't be the same, Lord, but we pray that you'd be with us nonetheless. And we pray, Father, that uh, despite limitations and restrictions, that we will be able to proclaim and uh, alleluias on Easter Sunday, remembering that you have risen from the dead. But let's not bypass Good Friday. Let's give you thanks, Father, for the cross, for Jesus, for his sacrifice his surrendering of his life freely out of love for us. Lord, give us your presence this holy week. God of truth, help us to keep your law of love and to walk in ways of wisdom that we might find true life in Jesus Christ, your Son. Amen. <clears throat> reading, the final reading is from Mark chapter 12, uh, from verse 35. We're just approaching Jesus coming into the temple uh, in preparation for uh, his passion. While Jesus was teaching in the temple courts, he asked, why do the teachers of the law say that the Messiah is the son of David? David himself, speaking by the Holy Spirit, declared, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? The large crowd listened to him with delight. As he taught, Jesus said, Watch out for the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. These men will be punished most severely. Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. Many rich people threw in large amounts, but a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins worth only a few cents. Calling his disciples to him, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything, all she had to live on. wonder if you can picture yourself in the temple courts, quite a large open space, with the temple off in some distance, surrounded by these columns. You uh, perhaps imagine seeing Jesus talking, the Pharisees in the background, and watching the woman coming with her offering. Jesus is there and he looks at you. What does he say to you? Thank you, Lord, for your passion, for your coming into the midst of the temple. And all that that signifies and means for us, that we can now be temples of your Holy Spirit. So come, Holy Spirit, and dwell in our hearts this day.
Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Beloved, let us love one another because love is from God. Let us love one another. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. Whoever does not love does not know God, for God is love. Let us love one another. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might live through him. Let us love one another. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to love one another. Let us love one another. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>